Hello there, good day to you. I am Tom, I'm from Smart Aerials, uh, and I'm, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, combine TV aerial, uh, satellite, FM or DAB, all onto a single cable so that you don't have to run hundreds of cables around your property, uh, or th this might be able to get you out of trouble if you've only got one cable going between two rooms and you can't install another, uh, and you need to get two signals down to one cable, which is actually quite common blocks of flats and stuff like that. Um, so before we start, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, demonstration of the equipment. Uh, so there's loads and loads and loads of different types in the market so you've got to make sure that the ones you're purchasing are the ones that are correct for what you're doing so if you need to, if you need to combine a satellite and a TV aerial signal down a cable then you need to make sure you get a TV satellite diplexer if you need to combine FM and DAB and, and, and UHF that's TV aerial signals um, you need to make sure you're getting that diplexer so obviously you've got a reason why you want to install one of these things and um, just make sure you get the right equipment first. But I'm going to show you a couple I've got, I've got, um, got here. So this one here is a TV and sat satellite combiner. Let me see that. Yeah, so that will combine a satellite signal uh, and a TV aerial signal all onto one cable, uh, which, is, which is great if you've, like I said, if you've got trouble trying to get more cables to rooms. Um, this one here also it will say, uh, I think you see the little red line on the satellite side, that indicates that that's got a power pass on that leg. So. The way satellite signals work, you need to put a power up the cable to actually get the signals back. So it needs to power the LMB or um, whatever equipment you've got that's doing the switching or, or, or disputing the satellite signal, uh, and then that will, in, in return, send the sat satellite signals back. It's worth noting that this concept, this the way you do this, you can't do with SkyQ. Um, you can combine Sky, um, SkyQ signals and TV aerial signals onto a cable, onto a single cable, but you have to convert the SkyQ signal into a DSCR um, signal first because the way it works traditionally, uh, it won't work. That's because the SkyQ nicks part of the, the UHF band, so that the frequencies, frequencies we use for TV, TV aerial signals, SkyQ nicks some of that. So if you put them together, those will cancel each other out, it, it won't work. So that's that one. Uh, now this one's an outdoor version, uh, but the idea is the same. Um, this has been in my van for a while now, but this one here, is a let's have a look at that. It's a UHF here, so that's TV aerial. Uh, it's got the combined signals. It's there. It says one seven four two thirty uh, megahertz. That's DAB, and the last one's FM. So you can combine a DAB aerial signal, an FM aerial signal, a TV aerial signal, all onto one cable, and um, it's fine. And you, you can do that because they use different frequency bands. They can all sit nicely next to each other without causing any interference or anything like that. Um, they, they, can, they can interfere only when one gets above a certain strength. It can interfere on the others, it can intrude, but you, you're not, typically you're not going to be combining them when they're too strong. But you, you sort of see me in this because it's too strong, not because you can't combine them. Um, so to do this, you're going to need your coaxial cables, your TV aerial cables, or, or whatever you've got. Um, I, I, I'm just using bits of coax here just for demonstration. You're also going to need some cutters, uh, a Stanley blade or cable preparation tool, whatever you've got. The diaplexes themselves and the like, F connectors or wherever they are, you might have sapling clamp, in which case you just need to screw them down. Um, before I go any further, I'm just going to tell you the difference. When you combine two signals, so two different frequency bands onto uh, a cable, that's called a diplexer. Uh, when you combine three, that's called a triplexer. So this one here, that would be a triplexer. Um, and the only thing that's what missing really is satellite. So if you had satellite FM, DAB, and TVL, that'd be called a quadplexer, uh, and they all work exactly the same. So, uh, and you also the other end, obviously, because you can combine the cables onto the signals onto one cable, you're going to need something to separate on the other end. Otherwise, it's it's not going to be any use to you. you. You could put a splitter in. Um, you don't really want to do that with satellite. You could split it, but you're going to lose a lot of signal down the splitter. So you're going to need some way of separating them, uh, which I'll get to uh, a little bit later in this video. A little, uh, <laughs> so it's time to keep you interested. So let's begin. So this back, I've already got an F connector on this black cable. That's going to represent our TV aerial. Yeah. This white cable is going to re uh, represent our satellite, and the other one that that can be our combined signal. So on this model, we're going to have to make some F connectors. Uh, if this video isn't showing you how to make F connectors, by the way, so in the in the links below, just, if you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a little click how to make an F connector. Just take to one of our other videos, which just focuses on that. Otherwise, this video will go all day. That I mean, me and waffling on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm trying to run the ring rounds with my cable preparation tool. I'm removing the PFC uh, P PFC P PVC jacket. Uh, let's get a screen. Cut back the dielectric. Now this is just a screw-on F-plug I'm putting on here. You can get crimp on and compression ones, which are a bit better. 
Um, but if you put these on properly, they're absolutely fine. Um, certainly for domestic use anyway. These are a bit stiff. Um, so there's one up there. And that's that. And when you're making F Connect, there's any sort of coaxial. We only need two mils to off the end of that. So we often go, I often go to jobs and they've been left like that. It's completely unnecessary. Two mils fine. Um, you know, that, that's, what, that's what we call the stinger. Uh, so what do I say? This one was here. This is going to be our TVL. So you're going to have to imagine that that runs up to our TV aerial signal, or that might run into your amp or something like that. Um, but we've got a signal here. Now that's going to go into the TV side of that there. Um, and the satellite cable, which is here, which I just dropped, that is going to go. into there. So we've got our TV and satellite there. So that's like the in as it were. Well the way we've got it connected, that is the in. And now we're going to have the cable running down to our room or the cable we're going to install, which is going to save us running two separate cables. Um, if you can, or it's probably better to run separate cables if you can, but you know, so it's not always possible. So this is like a, a you know, really good get out, you know, get out, I don't say get out jail free, but uh, you know, a good workaround. Um, especially with sort of cumulative blocks of you know blocks of flats and stuff where you've got TV, FM, satellite, and DAB. It's installing four cables to a flat, you know, every flat is going to be a bit of a nuisance. And also you're going to have to put. It's not just a case of putting the uh, the, 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 the installing the cables in. You're going to have to put the distribution equipment in as well, which could actually add quite a lot of money to your um, your communal system. So um, it makes a lot more sense doing it this way. Um, so that is. Our combined signal. There, so. What's that? Now, so we've got that's what it looks like. It looks a bit like a two-way splitter, but it's not. It's it's actually combining the way we've got it set up. It's actually combining two signals onto the one cable. Uh, now you have to imagine that this carries on running and running and running and running and running to your TV where you need it. Uh, now, like I said, we've got the problem where we've got one one cable. But you're going to have a sky box or a satellite box, and you're going to have a TV aerial. That's the whole intention of combining them. So we're going to have to separate them. Uh, now, the most common way of doing that would be with something like this. So this is what we call a triplex wall plate. This one. So you can see it's got TV, FM, and DAB. It doesn't matter that we haven't got the, this one combines the FM and DAB in one socket, but you can get some that separate the FM and DAB. But you have to imagine that, um, sorry, you have to imagine, we, we don't, we, we can just ignore the FM and DAB, because we've got the TV and satellite, we could just happily terminate that into there, uh, and that would go in like that. If you, if, you need, if you need help doing that, please do watch our video on how to terminate coax into uh, triplex wall plates. Actually, I'm not too sure I've done that one, that might be next on the list, but <laughs> oh, uh, certainly when I upload this, I'll, I'll, I'll put a comment in if you want to know how to terminate FM or oh, so FM, a quadplex and the triplex wall plates. But that's, that, that can happily sit on your wall, and then from there you can put your leads and stuff like that. If, if, if you look at the front, you would assume it's got three cables in, but it hasn't, it's only got the one, the one cable. Uh, and they do other versions here with um, quadplexed. So if you've got a recordable satellite receiver, a Sky Plus box or something like that, free sat plus. Uh, and this just works on the, on the concept that satellite one, that would be your triplex side, and sat two would just be a straight join. So um, you could just, you know, run a straight, straight satellite cable and sat one. So you only have to put the combine onto one leg. Um, alternatively, what you could do, you could do exactly the same thing you've done here. So with the tri, with the diplexer, sorry, you could get two of them, and you could just install it in reverse. So that that could be uh, what, we, what we're doing here. So yeah, so you've got to imagine. So what's what's the output of here? That would then become our input. So in the room, we'd install another one of them. That would be the input, and then it will separate. So it works. It's, it's, it's bi-directional. You can do it both ways. Um, so that's that. And I'm just going to quickly go go over the um, the triplex version. Yeah. So with this one, this one has the added benefit that it, it can be installed outside. So if if you want to install something up at your aerial mast or something like that, you'd want you want something like this, something that sits in a you know weatherproof housing. Uh, so what do we say? That's a satellite. Oh, I can't show you the satellite, so we have to assume that this is a FM cable. Uh, 
that's going to our FM radio, or, or well, that's actually going to our FM radio. Then our TV aerial you can go into this. This is also very common with um, blocks of flats and uh, multi switch amplifiers and stuff like that, where the terrestrial input would be a combined FM DAB. TV aerial, so to, to actually run the TV aerial and FM radios all together into the amp, often you have to combine them to go into the amp, you would have to combine them in, so uh, not all amps, it, it does depend on the ones you've got, um, so th these things are also very common with blocks of flats again, communal IRS systems and stuff, but you've got, this, I'm sure you get the idea now, I'll just take that out. So with this one, I can't quite see if you can see it there properly, but that is, you can see we've got an FM, FM signal going in there, got a TV all going in there, and then we've got them both leaving on that cable, which will keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then we in our room, or wherever, we can install our triplex wall plate. And again, the way we've got this connected, because there's no satellite going into here, we just ignore the, the satellite side or we could get a TV FM socket, as long as it's diplex, not, not a two input one, so you've got to be, a, they both exist, you've got some cables that aren't diplex, which means they take, if it's got two connections on the front, it will take two cables in, and some, some that are, so some, although they might say TV FM on the socket, you really need to flip it over to the other side to sort of see what's actually going on behind it, and, and how you'd install that. Um, but that's it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it gets you out of trouble. If, you've, if you're stuck with uh, one cable, you can only get it into one, one place. One, one thing I'm just going to say before um, finishing this video, if you're combining onto if it's satellite signals, because they use higher frequencies, you, you need to make sure you're using good quality cable, so a good quality double screen cable, which you should use anyway. Um, not always the case, especially with older sort of cables that have been in buildings for quite a while. Um, as it will struggle to, to hold the satellite frequencies, it's likely just a you know, cable losses be quite a lot on it. With FM and DAB, because they're lower frequencies, it's not so important, uh, but it's still important. So, if you put, certainly if you're putting in fresh bits of cable, make sure you're putting in double screen coax. Ideally, copper, 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 so copper screen, copper braid, copper center conductor. Uh, you can get copper clad steel versions, which, you know, will work fine, um, but they've, you know, they're not, not as good as the, sort of, you know, WF, WF100 type cables or the CT100 type cables. Um, so just bear that in mind. So just, if, if satellite's a lot less forgiving, so don't assume because you've got the TV air on and FM signals combined onto one cable, it's gonna be fine for satellite, it might not be. So having said that, if it's over short distances, you'll probably get away with it. Uh, and that's it, so I hope you like this video. Uh, if, it's, if it saved you or helped you or certainly if you've learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up, please do give it a like, please do give it a share if you're on Facebook uh, and please do, uh, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, where we have lots more videos like this which could actually save you a lot of money, um, I, I, that's, that's why we're making them. So uh, that's it, so I'm Tom from Smart Aerials, bye for now.